Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, continuing our Morrowind playthrough series. And uh, I'm back in the main town, so <laughs> since we last left off, uh, for one, I was getting chased by those crazy people, the lizard guy and the farmer, stuff I took. <laughs> I managed to shake them and make my way back to the main town. What I've decided to do is, why don't we just, why don't we try to stay focused? How about that? So what I'm going to do is, I brought up my journal and I realized, okay, so I've got these quests here. I got that quest that I picked up from the guy in the inn or whatever. And then, of course, got my main quest. I'd like to do this. I actually read through this. So we've got this thing here. I've got to help that guy find his gold. And it's asking me to uh, keep an eye on Fargoth at night and see if he's hitting the money and then report back to Hriskar. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, Fargoth is this little tricky dude right here. And they told me to go inside of the lighthouse, which I'm assuming is that thing. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go inside the lighthouse. On, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try to uh, I'm going to try to do this in as well a manner as possible, which means no just dilly dallying, no dilly dallying. All right. So I got a lot of helpful hints and tips in the last video, all of which I appreciate. I also, uh, I think I went about fixing the lighting, so hopefully, uh, visually, this should be looking better for us here. Who are you? Uh, is there a specific place you're looking for? Not really. Not much here, the trade house. Yeah, offices, coast guard. That's nice. All nice talking with you. I'm probably not going to take any of your stuff while you're watching me, right? Yeah, so lots of helpful tips. One of them was to jump everywhere. Uh, that sounds stupid, but <laughs> if that's what I'm supposed to do, I guess I'll try to keep on top of that. Nothing in any of these barrels here, huh? I don't think she can see me. This is worth 300, 300 gold coins or whatever, septums. She can't see me, right? I'm going to go into sneak mode. Take this. Take it. It's worth 300. I also gained knowledge from the book see anything else here worth a lot. Now they're not even sure what that's worth. That's grief. That's grief in a jar. Let's go outside. All right, so I'm supposed to watch him here from the top of this uh, lighthouse, and I'm supposed to do it in the evening. So what I'm going to do now is pass some time, which is actually what I use to heal myself up. If you're like, Force, what happened? Last we left off, you had no health and you're getting chased. Yeah, well, after reading the comments, I said, all right, let me, I got, I, I got some stuff figured out now. Thanks to you lovely folks. All right, let's bring it down. Let's bring it up to, uh, let's let's go at, uh, no, let's do this at 8 o'clock at night. Is that going to be dark enough? Let's find out. So i got to keep an eye on far whatever and see where he's hiding the money. Is that him? I wish I had binoculars. I don't know if that's him or not. Let me do a quick little... Quick little 360 here. Alright, so we got someone coming over here. Is that Farfelin? Far Farfell? Is that Farfelix? Damn it. I need to go get a closer view, don't I? I just can't tell. These people are just... Keep, everyone keeps walking back and forth. Haven't been able to see him yet. Let me drop down. Is this going to kill me? I did a little damage. Let's see if I can figure out who's who here. Okay, Farfelix is right there. There he is. He's got his torch. There's someone watching me, I can tell. Oh, damn it, was that Farafell? Was that Falafel? <laughs> Let me go back upstairs. She's still standing there. Why wouldn't she be? She stands there night and day. That's her job, stand there. All right, so. <clears throat> I think he must still be over there. He hasn't moved yet. So am I just supposed to sit here and wait through the entire evening? Because that sounds incredibly exciting for a Let's Play. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> I 
All right, well, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I guess I can do my jumping like everyone suggests while we wait. I'm just gonna keep jumping. So I figured out the reason why I, I uh, on my way back to town here, I was jumping nonstop and my acrobatics were increasing, so that's pretty cool. So I guess jumping everywhere makes sense. Okay, there he is, Falafel's moving. Farrah Felon. Oh, look at him sneaking about. He's all hunched over and everything, too. What a sly... What a sly goose. Look at him. I'm gonna go into sneak mode here. So he can't see me. Where are you going? Frankenbeans. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? What's his game plan here? Look at him sneaking over. How is, the, how is that guy like... Oh, oh, there, that's normal. That he walks like that. Alright, so we, we gotta see here, he's hiding some money somewhere. Is he hiding it underneath the big oak, the big oak tree? Is that where you're hiding the monies? Let me just, let me confirm I'm doing stuff right here. Fargoth, that's not as cool as any of the names I gave him. Alright, so... <laughs> Fargoth has been hiding away the money. I'm supposed to keep an eye on him from the top of the lighthouse town. Watch where he goes. Hriskar? Believes I should watch him at night. I'm not supposed to approach him at any time. I should then retrace his retrace his footsteps. He's been walking around all over the place. Find out where the money is hidden. When I found it, I should go back to Hriskar. Greatest thing is that I'm sure half the people watching this who played Morrowind in the past are like, well, I know exactly where the money is, so I could have gone there right away and gone in immediately and been done that in three seconds. Well, congratulations for those of you who have played it. I don't have that luxury. Alright, so he's walking around with his torch until he got to that little swampy area down there, and now he appears to be making his way back to whence he came. Yes, so I do believe that that is that. We hath fuggereth it out. <laughs> An alternative way of having, of saying we have figured it out. We hath fuggereth it. And, um... I don't know what this is. Well, I'll tell you what this is about. Little Sneaky McSneakerstein over there. I think he hid some monies over here. Hollow Tree Stump, huh? Well, would you look at that. And I got an engraved ring of healing and a lockpick as well. I will take all of that, kind sir. Kind gentleman. Where is that little... That little sneak. Alright, now I'm gonna go return it to the guy upstairs in the... In the, uh, place here. Gonna go. Make it quick, Outlander. We're gonna go return here. Oh, what is it you? It was you, Friscar Flatfoot. All right. You're supposed to find Fargo's hiding place. Were you able to? Yes. You found the hidden place. That's great. Tell you what, I'll give you a hundred gold. <laughs> oh, thank you. And you can keep anything else that you found there. Thanks for your help. You are welcome, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Chris Scar, Flatfoot, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Uh, so you should notice things look a little bit lighter. I I, I did uh, I believe fix the lighting. Uh, played slightly with the I'm gamma settings and also um, yeah, also did some other stuff there. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that ready. I'm gonna do my ring of healing right there. I also figured out binds here with F1, so I can bind this to I can bind the ring of healing to two. I'm gonna bind my Woe to three, this to four. Okay, so that is good. We got some binds now, which is awesome. And uh, what else did I get? I also got a lock pick. I got the journeyman's lock pick. Twenty-five uses. I could get rid of my apprentice. I'm gonna hold on to both of those though. I could sell my grief. I don't know how much he's gonna buy it for. It's got a strange. Uh, they don't know. Barter. How much will you purchase this for? Sixteen. How about seventeen? Oh, he agreed. Uh, I guess then it was probably worth a lot more, or I probably needed that for something, which, once again, don't know. Uh, spells, let me see here. These things are super expensive. What's Hearth Heal? Restore. Yep, grab the heal. Alright, awesome. Goodbye to you, and... Well, we have done some things. Oh, oh, let me check. I'm sorry, one last thing. I want to see, uh, do you have any, uh, illuminant, luminescent? Father's hand spark? That's shock damage. 
That stuff's too expensive for me. Resist magic, whatever. Don't care about that right now. I want to see if he had any things to, to light up areas. Um, again, I fixed the gamma and I changed the lighting, the overall lighting on the mod, so it should be, definitely should be better. Look at that skybox, that is smexy. Alright, well, um, with that, with that being that, let me just go back into here, and with my spells, I'm gonna put that hearth heal on, uh, I put that on three, actually. And then I'm gonna switch this here to Wode. Thunderfist is weird, I don't know. Thunder, it's just a weird name for a spell, too. So you can, now I can do just one and just quickly switch through these, which is awesome. Is the heal once per day? I would imagine not. I failed to cast it. I failed to cast it again. Well, we're gonna keep trying until we unfail. How's that sound? All right, well, so now that we've done that, um, yeah, great, Hearthcroft's grateful. I still need to go to Balmora. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go to Balmora. And to go to Balmora, we just need to basically head due north. Balmora is right here, and I'd like to walk that because I'd like to see what sort of adventuring we can uh, experience on the way. And let's do this at a better hour here. Walking at night's scary. There we go. Kill that thing. Take all. Okay. Well, yeah, guys, I'm <laughs> I'm actually really... This is really fun. This is really good, and I think the mod helps a ton because this game... Uh, when I first booted it up pre-mod, I was like, ugh. <laughs> this looks horrendous, but uh, this is actually not that bad, so... Not that bad. Ooh, a book! <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy. Uh, you alright, buddy? I think he's dead. I guess he doesn't mind if we take his things then, does he? No. And the journal of Tariel, that is him. This is his journal. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I'm developing. With it, I'll be able to travel great distances without the. Um, yeah, that worked well for you. If all goes well, test it out tomorrow. I believe I have worked out the complications that will allow me to leap great distances covering many hundreds of miles and ever before has one been able to travel in this manner. Vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without the terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. Well, buddy, I don't think that worked out so well for you. I'll take your book, and I take your clothes. I'm gonna leave you right there, though. I can't pick you up and move you around, can I? Yeah, all right. Well, I'm sorry, that's quite an unfortunate situation. I have acquired all of your stuff, though. Fortunately, it's a bunch of magic mumbo-jumbo, but with that said, I... <clears throat> yeah, this is all light armor. I don't think I really want any of this. I'm, I'd, rather, I'd, I'd almost rather just sell it, because I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna be all heavy stuff here. And uh, this blade is pretty neat, but it's two to 13, one to 18, and 4 to 16. I guess the thrust damage is better, but my slash damage is much, much higher in the battle axe. So I'm just going to stick with what I have here. It's, that is A-OK -okay with me. And if it's OK with me, then it's OK with you, because you really have no darn choice, do you? OK, so we're just going to keep walking in this direction. The sign doesn't say it's to Balamora, but this is, I mean, the damn map tells me that this is where I need to go, so. Might be doing it in some roundabout way. I could very well be venturing into somewhere that I should not be going. Oh, and the oh-so-important quick saves. We need to make sure that we are definitely on top of those. Otherwise, this could be bad news bears. Oh, these guys. These guys are silly. Thank you much. You are dead. This, uh, doesn't look like a fun place. Looks like a not fun place. I, I I foresee untold dangers in this area. Oh, I can't even see anything. The brush is too high. I'm walking through shenanigans. I need to make sure I keep jumping. I would imagine that me jumping nonstop would be super annoying to watch, though. And listen to. Also, I I, I don't I run out of my stamina, so 
Is that not a bad thing if I encounter someone and I need to fight and I'm all out of stamina? I gotta make sure I'm still heading north. I keep making my way to the coast here. And we walk through the swampy marshes as we make our way to Belmora. Also wanted to touch on something that uh, people commented on in the last video. They said, Force, you're not gonna do this game in two weeks. Yeah, you know, probably not. It might push, push closer to three weeks, but I also need you to realize a couple of things. Number one, I'm not doing everything in the game. I'd like to focus primarily on the main storyline. Otherwise, you're right, this could probably take an entire year of Let's Plays to actually finish. Um, and that's not really what I want to do, so... Not because I don't want to experience all of the game, I absolutely do, and maybe I will uh, do that in my free time, but for the sake of a series, I think fo having a focus is going to be better. That actually is probably part of the reason my Skyrim series fell by the wayside, which, bear in mind, uh, there is the potential of that uh, becoming revitalized, and the return of Evil Ekroth is definitely a possibility, so keep that in mind. Alright, so, main quest is over here. Let's just see what this is about, though. My ability to focus was non-existent. Are we friends? Okay. I'm a miner of the Shock Egg Mine, but I'm just here taking a break. Anytime you're ready. How about you? You are also just getting some fresh air. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm going to check the mine real quick. Uh, I want to see... Like I said, I believe I fixed the visuals. I believe things should be a little easier to see here. It's definitely better. This is definitely much, much better than the last one. I can actually uh, see much easier. You did. And there's nothing. So there's really just nothing in these things. Oh, I'm, I am paralyzed. And this little dude is punching me. I am unparalyzed. He is dead. Let me try my healing spell, huh? It failed. It failed again. We're gonna keep trying it, guys, until it unfails. Maybe that'll never happen. Is this the... <clears throat> Does anyone know why I miss so much? Is this normal? Is it just a percentage? It's gotta be, right? Alright, well, since there appears to be a whole lot of nothing in these mines, I'm just not going to... Until I get some sort of a quest to walk in there, I don't really see the point, so... Not going to worry about it. <clears throat> and continue our way north. This way. <clears throat> Although, is this? It looks like that bridge might be leading to the town as well. Okay. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I will avoid angry jellyfish, all cost. I learned my lesson. Acrobatics up to 18. Look at all this jumping, it's worth it. One day, I will be the best acrobatic in all. In all of Morrowind. In all of Tamriel, at that. Jump, 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 10 minutes of the last video. Whatever, we are here. That's all that matters. <clears throat> Alright, let's check out this town, Balmora. Hey, I'm stuck. Get up. Why am I stuck? Get the bridge. Get. I'm st un Unstick yourself. Sticky buddy. Ooh, delicious food. Wait, <laughs> this, is, this is really obnoxious. Oh my. Guys, I'm I am I I managed to get myself stuck in a tree with no clear exit. Can you just I just Can you just get out? Can you please? Oh, for the love of God, what is going on? I can like move myself up and down this branch. <laughs> <laughs> what is like what just I 
I, I don't even know. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. We're, we're just walking away. Walking away. There's a little Strider dude that carries me around. It's got a name. If I stabbed it, would it be angry? Guess not. <laughs> Doesn't. I heard no collision either, so it doesn't even seem like I actually hit it. Okay, so Balmora, and uh, let's bring up this journal here. <clears throat> what are we looking for? Previous, previous. All right. Um. Right. Balmora, the Vardenfeld district, and report to a man named Caius Cascades. Find out where he lives. I should ask in Balmora. At the corner club called Southwall. Okay, so I gotta go to the corner club called Southwall. Oh, the step away. Hello, you. <clears throat> Welcome to Bamora, council seat of the house. Hallulolo. How can I serve you? Well, um, Bamora is a council seat, right? Secrets, someone in particular. You didn't really help me much. <clears throat> Is it called again the fighters? Stop. Southwall. Corner club called Southwall. So is there... It all just says it's Balmora. Let's go to local here. That's the lucky... Whatever, the lucky strike. Alright, here's an outfitter. Uh, got clothes and stuff. What's this here? Dawn broker? Pawn, pawn broker. Pawning. I sell stuff there. <clears throat> Imagine this is the same thing, but... Yeah, it's the outfitter as well. Clearly. So I can steal, steal clothes from there. Here's a trader. This is armor. Don't stand about. Get moving. I'm trying to. This is the Guild of Mages. Can you tell me anything? Uh, I'd like the swamp's latest rumors, or if you have a little secrets. That's spooky. Guild of Fighters. I just heard a screaming cat. They ate plates. Oh, this is really annoying. I'm really gonna have to, cause I don't. Go ahead. I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Don't steal, don't brawl, or start fights. Don't kill, except in self-defense. If you're caught, guards will let you choose your punishment: fines or hard labor. What are you gonna make me do? What do you want, guys? I'm just trying to find this place. Look for clues. Oops. <laughs> uh, what are these op What are the options here? Oh, just to go on a quest. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. The corner club called South Wall, which has got to be in the south portion, right? Which is just like the entrance, isn't it? Are these people's houses? Yeah. Freaking. What about this? Etan's house. 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 Ugh. I realize this is probably frustrating for you. It's frustrating for me too. I'd like to find this house. I mean this corner club. A club in the corner, force it's obvious. Maybe. Council. The lucky lock top and the, the council club? Was that the, was that the one? 
No. It's called Southwall. It's the corner club, not the council club. Just get. Maybe someone in here knows, anyways. Quit play out, Lander. I haven't much time. South wall. That's where the Thieves Guild scum hang out. Alright. Well, how do I get there? So this has been updated. Traders, people's houses. Got to find the. These are all people's houses. South Wall Corner Club. Thank the Lord. That's a fist through screen. Please help me find. Old Sugar Tooth? Not sure where he's living now, but ask Bokola Koloskos, the owner. He'll know. He's the owner. He must be around here somewhere. I could ask Bolokos Koloskos. Arathor. Sugar Lips. Kajit has no time for you. Kajit has no time for you. Watch this then. I need. Do you know where he is? I could ask Bolokos Koloskos. You're not him. You're Juju. You guys are. Did someone just say brains? I didn't know this was a zombie. Gajit has no time for you. I don't know where he is. There you are. Hello, sir. Well, my friend. Uh, good day. I'm Bokola Kloskios. Po uh, the South Wall here in Balmora. We rent beds. That's nice to know. I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. If you're looking for someone in particular, I'm able to help. Yes, I am indeed. I am looking for Couscous Coast Gates. Old Caius rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door. To the turret, and right up the stairs. Wait, go out the front door, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Out the front door, which is not this one, apparently. Well, what if I just go through this one? Okay, this is the one to the terrace. Well, I could just jump down, right, and then just take. Can I not jump? Damn it. Well, can I take from the crate? Yes. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently, I cannot jump down. My jumping skill is not. <clears throat> Damn it. Jump. All right. Well, is he gonna know that I stole stuff? No, none the wiser. What about that's a that's a room door. Okay. So we're gonna go out the front door, which is this one. We're gonna go right up the stairs. We're gonna go left to the top of the stairs. We're gonna go down the street. Aha! Uh -huh. I have found you, sir. Yeah, dude, come on. Need time now. Just put, sh just put a shirt on, please. Who are you? What do you want with me? Yes, I am Caius Cosades. But what do you mean? You were told to report to Caius Cosades. What are you talking about? Yes, I was. So you say your name is Force, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Well, if I'm here to deliver a package, then yes, you of course can look at it. What? I'm delivering it to you. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here the Emperor wants me to mentor you, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to trust me and follow my orders? Yeah. I am. Good, welcome to this service, Novice Force. You are now a member of the Imperial Blades. I didn't 
asked to sign up for this were the emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And when the emperor commands, we obey. All right. I'm the Imperial Spymaster for Marwyn, and since I'm the ranking Blades agent in Marwyn, you report to me. Follow my orders, obey our rules, and you'll do fine. You can use my bed, creepy, put your shirt on if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your m modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blade... I'll go to the Blade trainers. These Blades agents offer training, not free, of course, but cheap for fellow agents. Look for Rathleen, Tyrmelin, and Nine Toes here in Balmora. I don't want to look for more people. And see, sure, do, 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 do. I'll run, see, do, 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 do. I'll run, see, <laughs> and alone, a scout. Okay, so she, he just told me where all the trainers are to train different things to upgrade my skills. Um, nah, that's something we can do another time. How about we do your orders, hmm? All right, first thing, Pilgrim, you're new. <laughs> Listen up, Pilgrim. You're new here, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. And second thing, you need to co you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighter's Guild or Mage's Guild or Imperial Cart Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own. Look for freelance work or trouble. <laughs> then when you're ready, come back and I'll have my orders for you. So he just wants me... Okay. He just wants me to go join one of these guilds before I continue the main quest line, basically? I might as well pick up the orders. Go talk to Hasfalt and Balmore Fighters Guild. Ask him who knows anything about the Neverland Secret Cult and the Six House Secret Cult. Have to do him a favor first, probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information. All right. By the way, Hasfat is a student. Tomorrow in history, take the chance to get a little education. Okay, so wow, just a lot of things. Um, I guess first and foremost, though. So he wants me to talk to the guy in the Fighter's Guild. Should I just... I don't really know much about the different guilds, but Fighter's Guild sounds like one I'd like to join, so... I uh, might as well just go there and do some stuff for the Fighter's Guild. Um, which I think was back here. Almora Trader, Guild of Mages, Guild of Fighters. Let me go to the Guild... Let me just join the Fighter's Guild. I'm a fighter. That's what I need to do. And then I can go to the outfitter and armor or whatever and get some stuff. Well, that sounds good. We can do those things. We can do those things. Put my weapon away. Start jumping everywhere. Jump, 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 jump. Don't go into people's houses. Not yet. Now's not the time to steal. My acrobatics is up to 19. Kill the mages. Guild of Fighters. Guy in creepy looking armor. And. Yeah, just go for a quick save here. Oh, I wonder what that thing is over there. And before we go into the Fighters Guild, why don't we just check that out? What is this thing again? Eight plates? Is that where I get dinner? Come to the eight plates! And the razor hole. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even want to go there. Alright, so this here is Dunmere Temple. That's neat. Alright, let's go on the Fighters Guild. Let's do that. Let's go on the Fighters Guild, let's get a quest. Listen, you can hear them fighting. <laughs> the sound effects, that's funny. Too cute. Alright, let's find out what's going on here. I'll talk to you, lady. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, speak up, Nord. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? Yes, I would, actually. Uh, you look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to take a look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Yeah, I guess. Let me read the Charter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren. 
And always proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind and never succumb to the craving tricks of the week. As a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest. Ooh. It is traitors to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak to with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel like you can uphold these simple ideals? You bet. You are now Force the Associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. See if you're ready for advancement. I could do some orders to advancement. Your talents are noteworthy, but some question in depth your devotion. Perform more duties for the Fighters Guild. Orders. I have a very simple contract to end the infestation of cave rats. You might be able to handle that. Absolutely. Go to the Dwarven Thelos house. It's here in Balmora, along with the along the river on the east side. Ask her where their rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment. All right, absolutely. But what about this equipment chest here? Uh, I'll find basic supplies, arrows, bolts, healing potions. If you need more healing, than that, do, 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 do. We're able to resupply the chest once in a while, but don't count on it. Okay, let me go check the... Uh, let me look for their chest here. Looking for an equalizer. Give you something to edge against your opponents. Ah, you got, you got stuff here. Uh, let me Let me barter with you. First of all, let me sell all my garbage here. You don't... What do you mean you don't buy that item? Yes, you do. You buy that item. You buy that item and you like it. I hate you. Can I give you his journal? I hate you. Will you sell me for more? No. Oh, looks like it worked a second time. Did it? Yes? Okay. Um... 1 to 32, 1 to 24, 1 to 3. I think that's basically what I have. These blades, which uh, higher low-end damage, but lower high-end damage. So that's kind of a thing. Um, I guess I could use some armor. What do I have right now? I've got the Iron Greaves. This stuff's expensive, jeez. I'll just steal this somewhere. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds horrible, but I'm listening. I feel like that's uh. What was I thinking? Here's the equipment chest here. All right, so this is just potions and stuff. Take all ten, of those, and uh, restore fatigue. That's restore health. This is restore health. It's just the cheap one, but whatever. Armor set. Is that like for repairing? And I don't have any. Are there any other? Is that the only? Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me. Is there a locked chest? Is there another chest somewhere, like down here or something? Someone's personal stuff. Yeah. If I steal from them, they're gonna yell at me. I guess this is this guy's where to do yoga or something. <laughs> is that where you guys do yoga? All right, that's a trapped door. Uh oh. Can I read this? I don't want to read that. I don't know if opening it was gonna give me a skill or something. I wonder if no one sees me. Let me just see what's in here. Let me see. Common shoes. I take some gold. Don't really care about any of that stuff, though. No one can see me. Come on. Open sesame. Yeah, pretty much nothing again. Soul gem. Though they're useful as they are in Skyrim. I'll absolutely hold on to that. Alright, well. No one saw that. So, I should be all set. Okay, so I've got to go uh, got to take out a rat infestation. Yes. And the rat infestation is said to be... Alright, 
talk to Drummond Theus about some uh, her house is here in Balmore on the east side of town near the river. So I need to go find Drarain Thelos on the east side of town near the river. So the east side of town would be to the right, of course, and near the river. Oh, that's her. Awesome. Okay, so go go straight, go go left, go to her thing, find out where the rats are. Awesome. <laughs> Tell me where the rats are. I will slay them. I am the rat slayer. Rats. Where are they? These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all my pillows. You like pillows, don't you force anyway? I've got one trapped in my bedroom here and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is not pillows. Here's the key for the door. Or at least three of these beasts. I hope they have not gotten into my good pillows. You need to calm down about your pillows, lady. No, I don't think so. You, no, I do think so. You need to calm down about your pillows. Okay? your sass. Rats! Dead. Let me take your rat meat. Close the door. You don't need to see this woman. And she said she's got problems upstairs too. Apparently I cannot act. You really like pillows, huh? Uh, <laughs> apparently I cannot access the upstairs from in here. So we'll go up back outside. And assume that she's got stairs leading up to a second room that she does not ac have access to from the inside. How strange. Oh my lord. Whoa. Why'd the FPS just turn to garbage? Well, at least we got that all taken care of. And I can thieve from her. And she will not know. This game so encourages thievery. I mean, oh my lord. Look at all that stuff. Oh, yes, yes. Look at all this stuff. Just, nobody knows. Nobody knows, you just do it. Just take all this stuff. Oh, look at all this stuff. I guess it is a storage place. 25 pillows, is that what that was? Is that what I just picked up? How am I carrying 25 pillows? How am I carrying any of this stuff? This magic world makes no sense to me. Gimme, give gimme, give thank you. All right, well, rats are gone. Storage has been emptied. <laughs> Let's go talk to the lady. Turn in our quest. You again. I just- Make it quick, Outlander. Well now, Force, you're back again, and what can you do for you this time? Are you interested? No, I, s I killed the, I killed the rats. So I'm not supposed to turn it into her. Uh, yes, I found and killed the rats. I'm returning to you. Okay, good. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these hundred septums. It's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. All right, awesome. My journal's been updated. So now I go back to the fighters guild to turn it in, get some more orders, I guess. I mean, these guys are dead. I'll dispose of the corpse here so you don't have to see it anymore. Oh, I'll do you that favor. All right. Well, nice to know ya. Nice to know ya. First order are complete. Found Belmora. Disposing of corpse. Disposing of corpse. I think the rats ate all of the goods in your storage though, so that's odd, but it happened. And <laughs> guys, I think we're gonna cut this video right here. That seems like a good spot. We'll be picking up shortly with more orders for the Fighters Guild before we uh, continue along the main quest line. Please feel free to leave any further you like to walk a fine line, don't tips you? and suggestions um, <laughs> for me. 
Because I am new to this, so I'm all about them learnings. I'm all about them learnings. All right, guys, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Keep watching and keep owning.